Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with this week's Dollar Tree haul. It is a large one, so make sure you grab a snack and something to drink and come visit with me for a while. I do have some pictures at the end as well, so please stay tuned. I picked up a box of Kleenex. It has 85 sheets in there. I did come across this Hunger Jack Original Hash Browns and it's made with 100% real potatoes. This doesn't expire until January 2nd of 2020 and it says ready in minutes. All you have to do is add water to it. And it even mentions that you can actually prepare it inside of the carton. It, um, it has a hot water fill line. So you just fill it up to that line right there. And this is 3.2 ounces. It also says that you can refrigerate any leftovers. For softer hash browns, let stand for 15 minutes in step one. So honestly, with stuff like this, I don't know if I will re eat it after it's already been heated up once. I think if you wanna do that, maybe put it in a separate container to um, to prepare it or something and just do it like that instead of heating it up and eating it again, if that makes sense. I did pick up two containers of the snack packs and I got them in sugar-free. So they come with two strawberry and two orange and they are five calories per serving. And these are good until January the 20th of 2020. Last week I picked up some of the Tony Saturay's uh, Creole seasoning. I think that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. But I picked up a box of the Dirty Rice by the same brand this week. This is a five ounce box and it's good until January 2021. And you know, prepackaged stuff is loaded down with sodium, but sometimes it is good to have things like this on hand to have a quick side for one of your meals. I also picked up some of the Baker's Harvest brand cheese crackers. So just like um, cheese nips or cheese its or whatever. And it's a seven ounce box. And this one is good until August the 15th of 2019. So this year. So a repurchase from me, I grabbed some more of the soft soap value refill it's the antibacterial soap and this is in 11.25 fluid ounces i picked up one of the facial brushes it's just you know a green briar or dollar tree brand facial brush i believe i tried this before and i remember the bristles being too soft for me at the time but i think i want to try it again because i love the little handle that it has and I just really need to change up my skincare routine. So I wanted to give this a try and I'll let y'all know how I like it this go around. Now I also picked up one of the Sleek brand hair bonnets from the Dollar Tree. I've never purchased one from there before and I really don't know if it's going to be big enough. I normally just get mine from the beauty supply store or Walmart sells them as well. So let's just see, that's what it's supposed to look like right there. And I want to get it out and see how it's made and if it'll be big enough. Oh, I'm actually liking it so far. I like the bonnets that have um, this edge around them. The elastic that's made like this is kind of like the old school bonnet. The ones nowadays have like a thicker band. So I kind of like this, you know, takes me back a little bit. It seems like it's big enough though to hold my hair. I'm hoping it is. I'm not going to put it on right now, but I think it'll be big enough. And the design is kind of cute as well. So I'll have this, you know, to wear to bed. So these were new at my store this week. The, they are calling these the keychain wallets and they had them in different colors. So I do have pictures of that at the end. It does come with this little ribbon on the um, zipper. You could easily take that off if it gets on your nerves. I might try to tie it a little bit better and then it just opens up like that. And it's got a little space for you to put your license or ID or whatever. And then you could put money or cards or anything you want to put in there. And it does just have the little keychain attached. So I thought that was cute. I just picked up one to see how I like it. But this will be good to put into Easter baskets. And Mother's Day is right around the corner. So you could pick up your mom or your wife's or whoever's favorite color and you know make a little goodie bag for them. I did pick up two of the floral guard and burlap ribbon and this is three inches by three yards so I'm gonna use that hopefully for one of my wreaths. I think I might try this out in there. I'm not quite sure how it'll do. I feel like it may fall apart but we'll have to see. I also picked up two of the Happy Easter brand craft bottles so you can make little things like that with it and it's just like a little hard plastic mason jar looking thing 
and I think I'm going to fill these up with something and put them in some Easter baskets and I'll do a video on that. I want to go ahead and grab them now because I don't want them to run out. Okay, so next I picked up a lot of DVDs, which is something I never really do. Y'all have never really seen me haul a lot of DVDs from the Dollar Tree. Usually by the time I get there, they don't have a good selection left. So I'm just like, you know, whatever. But this time they had all of them out there. I don't think anybody had touched not a single one yet. And uh, the Dollar Tree happened to catch me on a bad day. So I was more susceptible to spending more money. So they got me. They really got me. I probably got about, what, 11 DVDs. So I'm going to go ahead and go through those. The first one I got is called Lullaby. And uh, it has Jennifer Hudson, Terrence Howard, and Archer, Amy Adams. That's just a few of those people that are in that movie. So I did pick that up. And, you know, maybe if you want to pause that and look at that you probably can't see that very well but lullaby I got that I did get a John Wayne movie some of these movies too I was thinking that I could use as gifts if there's something that I'm not necessarily into then I have other people that are you know in my life that are into these kinds of things so I did get this John Wayne movie collection and Madeline looked at it and she told me these are some of his earlier movies so I did pick this up and it tells you the movies right there that are in there. It has uh, The Trail Beyond, The Dawn Rider, The Desert Trail, The Lawless Frontier, Paradise Canyon, and Rainbow Valley. I also picked up the Scooby-Doo original movie. It's the Frank and Creepy. So I thought that would be cool to get. I grew up watching Scooby-Doo, so that'll be fun. I also got this Tom and Jerry movie. It's called Tom and Jerry Spy Quest, the original movie thought that would be funny as well. Again, I grew up on Tom and Jerry. And I came across this movie. I've never actually heard of this before, but I feel like it may be okay. Like it may be a good movie. It says that it's family approved based on a true story. It's called Freedom. And it has in it Cuba Gooding Jr. and William Sadler. Never heard of the movie before. So I thought we could probably watch this on a movie night one night. And it's good to have DVDs sometimes because sometimes you don't want to watch what's on Netflix or sometimes you've watched it all and you're waiting for them to put new stuff up or maybe you watched everything on Hulu and you just want to go into your DVD collection. I also got the movie Freeloaders. It looked like something that I would be interested in, honestly. Uh, it says crashing for a few days since 2005. So hopefully that's funny. Let me know if you've seen this before. I picked up the movie Experimenter. It says the Stanley Milgram story. Illusion sets the stage. Deception reveals the truth. I got it because it has Winona Ryder in it. And again, this looks like something that I would be interested in. I got Palo Alto. It has Emma Roberts and James Franco in it. I kind of like James Franco a little bit. So I wanted to give this a chance. Right here, especially I thought was a really good deal. Um, I haven't seen anybody haul this and it just says uh, it's called 10 Films starring critically acclaimed actors. And the actors that it has in it, it has Jodie Foster, Jack Nicholson, Anthony Hopkins, Bill Paxton, which I love Bill Paxton, RIP to Bill Paxton, uh, Nick Nolte, Michelle Pfeiffer, John Lithgow, Argo, and Orson Welles. So I picked that up. And the films that it has in it, I'm not able to see one because the sticker is covering it, but it has Slipstream, The Wild Ride, Mesmerized, Guilty Conscience, Death Sentence, Power, Passion, and Murder, Gangster Story, The Terror, and David and Goliath. I picked up The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. It has Ben Stiller in it. I've never heard of this movie before, but I'm willing to give it a try. Last movie that I picked up, I thought this was so funny, it's the Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery original movie. Look at Scooby-Doo, he's got like the face paint on like Kiss. So I thought that would be funny probably to check out. Um, I'm sure these little Scooby-Doo movies are probably less than 30 minutes long, honestly. Um, I can't find where it is on here where it tells the time, but I'm sure they're probably 25 minutes long. I don't know, it may be an hour since it's considered a movie, but I thought this was unique to see this there. I got some butterfly stuff because, I mean, I haven't been buying many butterfly items because I've had just people over the years send me a ton of it and I've purchased a lot of it up myself, so I've been trying to use my stash down 
of butterfly things and I'm finally starting to you know get down to the bottom of the stash so I wanted to re-up on a few butterfly items and I got some of these Jot laser stickers this is actually a 62 count it's got quite a few stickers in there I know everybody's not a fan of the laser stickers but the thing I like about them is they are flat they're not the puffy stickers so if I wanted to put them in a planner I could and I could also use these in journaling you know match them up with some cute washi tape and just journal about life so I did pick these up and I also grabbed the Main Street Wall Creations translucent butterfly stickers. I thought these are really cute because look at that color. That's such a pretty color. I don't know if I'll consider that rose gold because it really has a purple tint to it to me. Y'all, I finally came across this notebook. It's uh, just imported by Greenbrier. So it's a Dollar Tree notebook. I'm going to open it up so you can get a really good look at it. I know a lot of you have probably already seen it, but it's the notebook that says Strong Women Make Waves. I love this. This is the only one that I wanted because I love what it says and it opens up like this. And the inside just has lined paper. So I grabbed that. Last haul, I found some of these little decorative mechanical pencils and I do use pencil a lot for school. And then I'm starting to use it for different things with planning. I'm getting into bullet journaling and um, I'm finding that I like to use pencil with bullet journaling. So I did grab some of the Jot mechanical pencils and they're like little decorative. And it's a six piece. It's kind of what the designs in there look like. And then I also got this one. This one has old Jot brand packaging though, if you look at it. So I grabbed both of those. I grabbed some Jot paper stickers. It comes with 10 sheets and they're like labels, like little decorative labels. But you could use these in your planners and journals as well. And then I grabbed some of the Jot shipping labels and you actually get uh, 20 of these and uh, you get one label per sheet. So technically that would mean there's like 20 sheets in here and you can print and write on them. And it says you can print them uh, with a laser printer or ink jet. And the last couple of things I grabbed, I grabbed some of the Huggies fragrance free wipes. I got this because I'm going to get into my stamping and when I did use some of my stamps before I use these to clean them and it works really good. So I picked up that to clean stamps and then they had some more uh, stationery out by the Crown Jewels brand. They do a lot of the Dollar Tree stationery. This time they had inspirational list pads. I really wish I would have got pictures of the rest of them but I had stuff in my hand and the uh, display was kind of down low and I thought I might drop the stuff if I tried to take my phone out. But I did grab this one that says every day is a gift from God. So I thought that was pretty cute. Um, it may come with 60 sheets. I'm not sure. It doesn't come with that many on this one, which honestly can be a good thing because, you know, I want to be able to use these up. And the last thing is this Jot Brand Pop-Up Stickers 14 Count. I hadn't seen this one before. It may be old, but I just hadn't caught it. I like it for this sticker right here and that Hope sticker. I thought those are pretty cute. This one is cute as well. I'm not sure I'll use the other ones. That is all from my Dollar Tree haul this week. I hope that you all have enjoyed it and I thank you for watching. I will talk to you again in my next video. Bye.